In problem 21, we're going to look at three different limits. Um, first of all, we want to evaluate the limit as x goes to 3 from the right of x minus 1 times x minus 2 over x minus 3. And then we want to evaluate that same function again, except for part b, we're taking the limit as x goes to 3 from the left. And in part c, we're looking at the limit as x goes to 3. So <clears throat> first thing we look at is x is going to 3 from the right. If we plug in the value 3 for x, we do get division by 0. So something needs to be done here. And we need to determine, is this a hole in the graph or is this a vertical asymptote? And we can pretty quickly see here, since the top is already completely factored, that this is, in fact, a vertical asymptote. There is no x minus 3 on the top to cancel out this x minus 3 on the bottom. So we know we're dealing with a vertical asymptote. If we're dealing with a vertical asymptote, there are two possible answers to this limit problem. It's either positive infinity or negative infinity. So we're coming from the right-hand side. So what we want to do is say, OK, we're coming at the number 3 from the right-hand side. So we want to take a number just slightly bigger than 3 and see what happens here. OK, if we take a number just slightly bigger than 3, then we get something three slightly bigger than 3 minus 1. That's a positive number. So I'm going to put a little positive above that, just to remind me that that's positive. If I take something just slightly bigger than 3 and subtract 2, that's also positive. So I'll put a positive in there. And if I take something just slightly bigger than 3 and subtract 3, I get something that is positive. So I get a positive times a positive divided by a positive. That's positive. So we know that this limit must be positive infinity. Okay, let's look at part B in a similar way. This time we're coming at 3 from the left side. So we want to take something just slightly smaller than the value 3. So maybe 2.9, maybe 2.99, just something slightly smaller than 3. If I take something slightly smaller than 3 and I subtract 1, it's still positive. If I take something slightly smaller than 3 and subtract 2, it's still positive. And if I take some, something slightly smaller than 3 and I subtract 3, that is negative because it was slightly smaller than 3 and I subtracted 3 from it. So I've got a positive times a positive divided by a negative. That's negative. So we're looking at negative infinity. If I want to look at the limit as x goes to 3 of this function, well, one side was positive infinity. The other side was negative infinity. They do not agree. So this thing does not have a limit. And we can say that this limit does not exist. So the real key in these uh, vertical asymptote problems is you have to remember, if I determine it's a vertical asymptote, there's very little to be done at this point except for determining is it going off to positive infinity or is it going to negative infinity. Once you figure that out, that's all of the work.